en çok beklenen isimlerden biri. Güneş batmaya başladığında sahne alan Skankanen Sinin solisti Skin, şarkısını söylerken bir anda seyircilerin şaşkın bakışları eşliğinde onların arasına girdi ve hatta eller üzerinde yürüdü. Parçasının kalan kısmını hayranlarının elleri üzerinde söyleyen Skin'in performansı gecenin önemli anlarından biri oldu. Welcome to Turkey guys. It's really great to see you here as a band. You know with the original lineup and welcome back Skin. It's really great to see you here again. So how does it feel to be back on track again with the original lineup? It's been 20 years. Uh, 12 years. <laughs> well, you know what? It has almost been 20 yeah, years. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Give it a couple of years. No, it's going to be our okay. 20 year anniversary. I'm really happy that it's just 12 years, not 20. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's fantastic. It's brilliant. It's great to come here as well because as a band Skunk and Nancy's not played Turkey before. Yeah. So we're very excited about And it's super hot, and we like this kind of weather. Really, you yeah. like it? We love heat. We love heat. Unbelievable. So, what do you remember from Turkey and about audience? Crazy. I remember it was a bit of a uh, last minute because everything was falling apart until literally just as we walked onto stage. And um, but then we walked on stage, and it was the full force of uh, everyone from Istanbul going crazy. So yeah, um, I love playing here. So, how does the feedback about the new album? It's, I think it's really gorgeous. So. And um, we had a lot of critical acclaim, actually. Surprisingly, even some of the original old school dissenters loved the album too. So, yeah, it was very nice, and we get a really good response from our audience when we're touring around the place. We've done about two or three European tours and two British tours, and it, they've all been sold out. So we're very happy. And I heard that um, you guys come back together at uh, 2008 on a wedding. So what would it, if that wedding would have happened, you know, what would it be? <laughs> well, it would have probably been something else then. Go on, Mark. Really? <laughs> yeah, it would have been something else because um, there was always uh, a greatest hits that we had to release, which became Smashes and Trashes. And because we're such control freaks, we wanted to be involved in it, you know, and, and make it a good package for our fans. So it would have happened at some point, I think.